So Washington STEM came actually and visited me this morning. It was very nice to see them. And they're supporting pathways for students to understand the impact of the future. So classroom to career um, pathways. So when you're younger or you're in school, how do you understand what you're interested in and what you might want to do in your career? They're providing programs that might help young people to recognize their passions, their interests, and their vision for future employment. We have about 740,000 new jobs coming in the next five years. They're living wage jobs. And we would like our students to be prepared and be part of the future workforce. And part of the, the challenge of that is that students don't always even know what those jobs are, what they need to be able to do those jobs in the educational background. And it could be two-year programs, it could be four-year programs, and we're trying to create, in a bill that I have actually, the Career Connect Washington bill, um, a system uh, throughout the state so that students will have the opportunity to understand and visualize themselves in certain roles, understand what they would need so they can plan a path to employment. We know education is so important in how we think and how we, we, we dream about our future, and that should not be taken away. But there also should be a way to apply that education to how we want to live our lives in the future. Well, it helps me to explain it this way, that, um, that at having a bill, sponsoring a bill, and shepherding it through the process of becoming a law is very similar in feeling to a salmon, well, not that I know especially, <laughs> to a salmon swimming upstream um, to its spawning grounds. And uh, basically there's a lot of barriers and challenges and uh, places where that bill can die along the process if you want it to survive to the next stage, which is if it does have a fiscal note or if it has money associated with it, then it would go to a budget committee. So bills that made it through the committees are still moving forward, they're still alive, and um, bills that did not make it through uh, might have been really great policy, but are not going to necessarily go through the path to become law this year. However, are, are, possible, are possibly bills that will come back next year. And so, uh, pretty busy time right now. The schedules are long, the hours are long, so legislators, um, constituents, lobbyists, and people are around here advocating and working really hard to make sure their, their salmon or their bill <laughs> continues through the process. That is a bill that I sponsored, and I'm honored to sponsor that bill. Uh, we have license plates for the Seahawks and the Sounders and the Mariners, and, and fans are so excited to be able to recognize their teams. And a lot of the proceeds for those license plates are going to great causes. In this case, the Seattle Storm is a women's professional basketball team, a championship basketball team. And we don't have a basketball license plate, but what's, what was so compelling to me uh, is that it, people who purchase this license plate and recognize their team will also um, be supporting youth empowerment, civic youth leadership, as well as girls, girls in sports, and girls who have disabilities in sports. The money will go to programs that will support them. I think it's really important when our heroes look like us, and, uh, and if you watch the final championship game with the Storm, they really showed a lot of grit and fiery determination and were true heroes. Thank you.